Hey guys, Cade Henry Seller here, back at you with another Wet Sold video. I think this is for week 14 of 2024. Not really sure, but we're going to start with that and go with that. Because the last video I put out, I think, was week 11, and then I put out week 13 today as I'm filming this. So, let's get started. This little figurine, Mario and Peach, paid like 2 or 3 bucks for this a while ago at Walgreens, I think. Um, sold for $11 plus shipping. Probably wasn't the greatest investment because I've had them forever and they've never sold really. So, yeah, probably not the best investment, but they finally did sell. Kipper. This little beanie boo sold for 6 or $7 plus shipping. I paid 6 for them originally, so not really making any money. Probably going to lose a little bit of money on them, but at least I got something out of it. Next up, the Chicago Cutlery Pocket Knife. This thing sold for, I think, like $15 to $20 plus shipping. This pizza dough, Fisher-Price pizza dough set. It's like a little plastic pizzas with toppings as well that you can put on the pizza random stuff like that it came out of a storage unit um, so it's free to me at this point sold for like twenty dollars plus shipping this ralph lauren shirt sold for like seventeen dollars plus shipping 2xlt it's pink and then two poshmark sales wisteria pattern little sleepies is what this is little sleepies is a little thing little uh brand viscose i think it's a pat or is the uh like whatever you want to call it, material that it's made out of, but little kids seem to love it and the parents love it too. So this one sold for $36, I think, plus shipping. And I sold this Delta Sigma Theta Rituals book on Posh for, I think it sold for like $50 plus shipping. I got a lot of flack for listing this on eBay. Uh, on eBay, I took it down right away because someone was saying, you can't list this. Um, apparently it's, I don't know what it is. What, what they're trying to, say that you're not allowed to sell it but um i mean there's other sold listings on there so i wound up selling it on poshmark out of all places uh <laughs> for 50 dollars plus shipping so there were solds on ebay of around 70 or 80 but i wasn't going to risk my ebay account so i just took it down right away but yeah it's not a bad sale there 50 bucks for a little ritual book and that's it for sales to start out the video here are the sales for today starting now with probably the best one for today this sold for $75 plus shipping. It's a Banana Republic leather trench coat. Uh, came out of a storage unit, so it's free to me at this point. These were free from my mom. Honeycomb pattern pants uh, from Charter Club. They sold for like $15 plus shipping. These Adidas pants came out of a storage unit. They sold for $10 plus shipping, so really not much there, but it's something at least. Probably shouldn't have listed them, but I did, so they sold. This Mickey Mouse Roadster Racer sold for $11, I think with free shipping. I've had it for a long time, but only paid a dollar for it way back in the day. A couple of Amazon sales going out. This Kermit the Frog plush sold for $27 plus shipping. And then this book came out of a storage unit that uh, was a while ago now, probably like a year or two ago. But I just had it stored on a shelf. Sold for $45 plus shipping. I'm not sure why it's sold now because it's not like school starting or anything. Usually those kind of things sell whenever school starts. Another Lego manual. This one is for AT, -AT Walker. 4483 Star Wars manual. Sold for $20 plus shipping. And then Tony the Zebra sold for $15 plus shipping. I paid, I think I paid six for him clearance down some time ago. But yeah, $6 for that guy. And that's it for sales for today. Here are the sales for today. Not too many. I think I got five sales going out. These little me meows. <laughs> These are Athmau, I think is the brand, if that's how you say it. These are not the original ones. They don't have the tags. So these are, I guess they're from like AliExpress or Alibaba, something like that. I'm not sure. Sold them on Mercari for $32. I think you're allowed to sell the stuff as long as you don't put the actual brand name in there. So I don't know. Either way, they sold. <laughs> and I didn't put them on eBay. Just I didn't want to risk eBay. Uh, Rebecca Malone sweater. Christmas sweater sold for like $17 plus shipping. Another clothing item, this Karen Scott shirt. This one sold for, I think it sold for like $15 plus shipping. Maui, the pineapple. What's funny is this thing had been listed on eBay for probably seven months and it hadn't sold and I had it listed on eBay for $7. I put it on Amazon because I saw that listing was on Amazon. Sold within an couple hours of posting it on Amazon for nine dollars plus shipping so yeah sometimes Amazon can be really good unfortunately a lot of the squishmallows aren't on Amazon anymore so that's why but all of a sudden that one popped up there so I sold it and then this little occupation metal uh this is Coast Guard I think it's what it is it says U.S. Coast Guard on here so it's U.S. Coast Guard occupation little metal sold for 25 dollars plus shipping on eBay or no that was on Poshmark actually at all random sites Poshmark had a you know Poshmark's random sometimes that's it for sales for today. Here are the sales for today. Starting now with an eBay sale. 
Jojo Siwa doll sold for like $20 plus shipping. Not much, but it's something. I think I got her for you know a couple bucks or so at a yard sale, I think. <laughs> Next up, Amazon Barb the Troll. Paid a dollar fifty, sold for like twenty-five plus shipping, I think. So a little troll going out. Assume soon, hey hey, someone bought just hey hey. I have all the uh, Moana figures listed, but hey hey sold for like nine dollars plus shipping. It's something at least, not much, but it's something. Some recent garage sale finds. Um, this Transformer Armada demolisher. Y'all probably can't see because it it's in the bag. It sold for like twelve bucks plus shipping, so it not it didn't sell for much, but it's something at least. This Harley Davidson shirt sold on Posh for 13. Posh has been better than since Mercari made their silly change. Uh, Posh has actually been way better in terms of sales. I've had way more sales on Poshmark. Uh, and then this Ramjet little mini con action figure. It's a plane. Um, this sold for like 35 plus shipping, I think, or maybe 33, something like that. But I paid 40 bucks for a big lot of Transformers and those two make my money back. So now I just got to, you know, profit for the rest. And then last but not least, this thing of matches vintage matches it only sold for like 12 bucks plus shipping um i will not i didn't include the container luckily so hopefully they will be able to ship pretty easily um but yeah matches really not the best thing to pick up i had them for average one to try and see if i could sell them at auction put them at auction for ten dollars they went up to 12.50 i think or something so they did sell but it's really not worth picking up anymore and i've had those for probably three or four years finally got around to just trying to get rid of them but yeah that's it for sales for today here are the sales for today Starting out with this little Starbucks mug from France. Well, maybe not from France, but it has France on it. It's a mini mug, sold for like $13 with free shipping. These plumps sold for like $10, maybe plus shipping. I don't remember for sure. Either way, I'm not making much money on those if I make anything. These Nike shoes sold for $40 plus shipping. They're Nike LeBrons. They only cost $8 to ship, luckily. This Chico shirt sold for $19.75. I think it's plus shipping. I can't remember for sure, though. Gonzo technically sold two of them, and I only shipped the customer one. I didn't read the listing on Amazon that they bought two instead of one. Luckily, the customer reached out and said, hey, I only got one. They offered me, you know, they gave me an opportunity to fix it. So I'm shipping them the other Gonzo, <laughs> but he still sold for 26 bucks. So technically, I didn't mention him in the sales that I provided last time he sold, which was, I think, earlier in this video, probably. Uh, this Quacker Factory shirt sold for, I think, 20 bucks plus shipping. It's got the tag still. This also has the tags, a Vera Bradley uh, organizing per, or what does it say? Hanging organizer hope garden purse. I think this is free or not purse, but uh, whatever you want to call it, organizer. Free from my mom. And this little balloon escape, uh, Batman. I think I got this at the consignment sale that I went to. Um, he sold for $13 plus shipping. I think I paid like six or 10 bucks for a big bag of Lego. I think it's the first one to sell from him, but the other ones will hopefully sell pretty soon. That's it for pre-weekend sales. Here are the weekend sales. So starting out with Poshmark. Sold two items on Poshmark. This wrestling singlet, it's got the Marines on it. <laughs> or it says Marines, the few, the proud. So it's like a wrestling singlet. It's adult small. That sold for like 25 bucks plus shipping, I think, on Posh. This hat sold for around 25 as well plus shipping on Posh. It's Pebble Beach Golf Links. So that's the two Poshmark sales. One Mercari sale, this Bowser hat. <laughs> got this for a dollar recently. It sold for, I think, 13 or 14 on Posh. Only on Mercari, so really not much money, but... Still decent. Um, this swimsuit, free country swimsuit. It's a two-piece. Sold for, I think it sold for like 15 when you include shipping. It's so like 12 plus ship. Some more hats going out. Valhalla Golf Club. And BNP Paribus Open. These are two golf courses. Those are both sold for somewhere between 12 to $15 each. Amazon sales. Piglet sold for $20 plus shipping, and Tiny Diamond sold for like $30 plus shipping. Another troll going out. Michael Vick jersey sold for $25 free shipping. I've had this thing forever. Finally sold. Dream Pets came from the Flea Across Florida event from last year. Finally sold for, I think, $30 plus shipping. They weren't the best buy, but they did sell. This Magic Bullet's going to Puerto Rico, so it cost like $10 or $15 bucks to ship it, unfortunately. Um, but... I paid zero, came out of storage unit, sold for, I think, $40 plus, like, $8 shipping. So, it, shipping almost covered it. And the last couple items, uh, let's see, Gaither. This is sealed DVDs. These sold for $30. Little's Pet Shop sold for, I think, like, $10 plus shipping. Not much money, but it's something, at least. And then all these video games sold as well. Um, 
Spyro's Year of the Dragon sold for, I think it sold for like 15 plus shipping. Kingdom Hearts sold for like 5 plus shipping, not much money there. Even though it's new and sealed, it's still not worth very much. Final Fantasy uh, Crystal Bearers. This sold for, I think, 15 plus ship. This game, Sonic Heroes, it's in a different case, but listed as disc only. This sold for, I think it sold for like $10 plus shipping. None of these games really sold for too much. Kokuto, that's how you say that, <laughs> fishing game, also sold for around 5 plus shipping, I think. So, yeah, nothing really great on the video games, but they did sell pretty fast. So, I just finally got around to actually testing and listing some video games. So, that's it for the sales. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite sale and subscribe and subscribe. Thanks for watching.